Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the um, the presentation that they gave at CES. And Quibi was on stage with Mike Sievert. And that's where they that's where he announced that they would be bundling the uh, Quibi service. I believe that's what it's called with the T-Mobile's customers plans. And again, this is another streaming platform that's being added to the uh, to the plans where you can watch content with very minimal advertising five to six seconds depending on the length of the video the video between five to six minutes is going to be the length of about you know the advertising five six seconds around there is what the length of the advertising advertising ad will be now what i want to discuss uh, more on the network side if you guys think T-Mobile as a standalone, if merger is not approved, can handle any more streaming on the network. We all know T-Mobile is slowing down. In a lot of markets, it's getting congested just because of the saturation and the, the growth that T-Mobile has taken in the last you know few years. Now, T-Mobile says, and he announced it at the uh, presentation, 57% of network traffic is video streaming on the network. That's a pretty big number, in my opinion. And about, I don't remember exactly the number, but about 87% is a short video viewing. That's YouTube videos, the Instagram ones, the, 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 the TikTok, all that stuff. That's a very high percentage of users watching video on the network. That means the towers and sectors are at certain times really strained down because there's a lot of traffic. You got people watching Netflix, you got people doing the YouTube. So and we all know the data streaming is very I mean, the uh, video streaming is very intensive. You know, if it's HD, 1440p, whatever the whatever the video quality is that's being streamed, it can it can put a strain on the network. And so, you know, we haven't even gotten to the T-Vision yet. And T-Mobile is already adding another um, streaming service onto its platform. Now, of course, once again, this is creating more value for the customer. So T-Mobile, I listened in on at the for the conference that they had in Vegas, the TMT conference. And they discussed... Um, during that that conference that there is a switcher pool currently so the industry churn is going up not just t-mobiles but the industry churn is an overall and they feel that they are best positioned in terms of plans deals and value to bring in the most customers so they also discussed there based on the preliminary numbers that they released even though their churn spiked they still added the numbers that they added so the field is getting more competitive with Verizon, uh, you know, swinging the bat. They they are giving their best deals ever in a long time. You got Disney Plus, Apple Music. Those are very, very costly. AT&T restructured their plans. They're getting ready to add HBO Max as a value. You know, the 100 gigabyte a threshold on the elite plan. I mean, just just competition is is really really steep nowadays and t-mobile still pulled the numbers that they did so they feel very confident that their value position is the best in the industry and they're pulling in uh, this from the switchers pool that's out there the people that are switching t-mobile is now in the conversation it used to be back in the day it was like hey i, I got at&t i don't like it anymore i'm just gonna switch to verizon and then you know that was more of a back and forth between them two because T-Mobile just wasn't a, a competitor at that time. They, they didn't work outside of cities. The HSPA wasn't that great. So they, they then upgraded to HSPA 42. And then we all know the LTE story. But now they are in that conversation. It's like, hey, I don't like AT&T anymore. Well, let me look at, it, at Verizon. But also let me look at T-Mobile. Um, and, and, and it has worked over the last few years. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I know some of you guys live in areas that are not congested, but there's also people that are living in like a Los Angeles where the network is 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 highly populated 
And, you know, because they have a, a lot of prepaid presence in Los Angeles in, in Metro by T-Mobile. And it's just it's just tough to to even think about adding another streaming option to your platform. But they're 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 doing it. So leave all that in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content like this. Also follow all of the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.